we're making a project called Monster Extraction, which is a kind of play that you walk around. So the idea of the play is, is that when something bad happens between two people, it creates a monster. And this monster kind of pops up like that in an argument or a disagreement or some sort of terrible thing that's happened between people. And it immediately goes and hides. And if we patch up our differences, if they resolve their problems, then the monster is freed. And if people hang on to their problems and hang on to their differences, then the monster stays trapped in the place. My Pockets came to Back to Hours with this idea and we were really excited to be able to support it. Um, we funded it because it was a really different idea. We were intrigued by it from the start. The making of monsters with local people has gone down brilliantly here in, and that's what's been really special about the project. It was just really nice to actually talk to people, hear what their monsters are, how they're, how they're struggling in certain moments in their life. And that, that actually then informs the design, which is, which is great, because like the, the, the Many Sheds monster is actually very simple. It's just kind of like these undulating tentacles. I've loved Men in Sheds, and we've been helping making, making some of the puppets. Well, the, the monster is part of the loneliness. It's like at the back of your mind, what you're thinking. Tina, yeah, she's my um, monster, my character. And um, she's been through a lot. She's been through a hell of a lot, that girl. I think talking to somebody about Tina, it reflected on how I have an ad life. And this project is really about listening to, listening to people, listening to people that don't normally get listened to, and seeing how they cope with life and cope with difficulties in life. People can struggle in life, and they can sit behind closed doors and let these monsters get them. But once you start talking to someone, there is, there, is, there is light at the end of the tunnel. The project is quite different to anything my pockets have done before. They've always made these brilliant puppets working with people, but they've never done a live event like this. So we were also really excited to be supporting them in making something new and challenging the way that they work. I'm hoping that the performances will be good. We've never done anything like this. I have no idea really what's going to happen, which is worrying. <laughs> Hang on. This is Extracted Base. Yeah. I thought it was really good because some of the stories, like one of my friends, she was she was Tina, um, and a story yeah, pulled your heartstrings and um, yeah, because we have all got monsters, haven't we? Thank you, Chip. It was great. Must admit, this last week I never enjoyed myself. <laughs> my missus can't understand it, like. I'm losing it. I'm going crackers up here. It was just mind blowing. Today, I've just seen all the monsters and all the googly eyes and that. Can you get me out? I just thought they looked cool and um, that we should free them all right now so they don't get bigger and bigger and bigger. Somewhere on the line, he's lost that fear, evolved, adapted. People have been so kind of creative, it belongs to, to them, and so to see people kind of like walking around and to, to experiencing it and enjoying it is really special, you know, I, I feel over the moon about it. He's got it! He's got it! He's got it!